This video is about how to move files from one place to another place on a phone or from a phone to a computer or from a computer to a phone or whatever. To do that I use this application called CX File Explorer, right? This one here, right? CX File Explorer. It's a file manager, right? It's just a reasonably good file manager. There's probably better ones or worse ones, but anyway, this one does all my purposes. I don't know there might be better ones. If I go into it, it goes in and gives you, shows you what's available on uh, various parts of the devices. For example, it's telling me what's in the main storage, right, on my phone. It's telling me what's on the storage card on my phone. It also can show me what's in the system files, which I want to talk about, but also uh, uh, network. I've got various other computers throughout the house. For example, this is my file server. This is access to my file server when I'm away from home. I can even do it away from home. This is another computer I got. This is my wife's computer. This is a hard drive that's on a router. This is another Raspberry Pi computer that's on my um, uh, on my network. So I can access all this information from this one application on a phone. But a nice thing about it is it also gives you the ability to, once you've gone into folders or that, for example, I'll go into a local one there, into an SD card, rather than just looking at them, the ones that you use most commonly, you can actually put on the desktop of your phone, which is what I've done. Okay, if I go over to here, you'll notice I've got this grouping here. By the way, I'm using two things here. I could have an individual icon, uh, or I can group icons. That's another thing you can do with Android phones. For example, one that I have is simply called Bike Videos. Whenever I go for a ride on my bike, I record video and then it gets stored on the SD card of my phone and then I transfer it from the SD card to a server. Just to show you how I do that, right, rather than, um, it, well, and obviously if I kept on giving video on my phone, I run out of storage quite quickly. So to show you how I do that, I just go into there and I have, there's two folders there, one, and, and this is a folder on the desktop which CX File Explorer allows me to do, I can go to Auto Boy Video, which is a folder within a folder within a folder within a folder, so quite deep. So rather than having to go through that every single time, I simply go to there, right? and it takes me directly to that folder. You can see that I'm actually on uh, a file called Android Data, com.happy.black, files, Auto Boy, Auto Boy Video. So that's that particular folder. And, whoops, and this particular folder has a whole lot of video files. Each one, MP4, is a video file. And also it says SRT, which is a, um, actually a, what's it called? It's a capture. It's a, um, um, the things that you have at the bottom of movies. What are they called? Uh, captures or something like that. In other words, text at the bottom of the movie. In the case of this one, I'll just play one to show you what it looks like. All right, there it is there. Okay, and if I play it, it should come up at the bottom. I'm not going to do that. No. That's, um, let's play that again. That bit at the bottom of the video there. It's just telling me. Oops, I'm going to stop it. Oh, stop it. It's telling me the date, the time, the speed I was going, the latitude and longitude, uh, and where I physically was located. That's a, another program called Auto Black Boy, which records all the videos. So anyway, that's a little bit of a side issue. Um, what I'm showing you here is these are the other videos. And I don't want. I don't want them on my phone. I want to transfer them over to a another computer that I've got. All right. So to do that, all I do is I want to select all the ones on the, and by the way, you'll notice when it's done a video, it's created a file name, which is in this case, the first one at the top here is called 220510, which is means the 10th of May, 2022 and 102506.mp4 means it was started the video at 25 minutes past, uh, six minutes and 25 minutes, six seconds, 25 minutes at 10 o'clock. On, the, um, on that particular date. So I want to transfer those ones and all the ones that were done on the 10th, and you'll notice if I scroll down here, some of them were done on the 11th, from my 
a, a phone to a computer. So I just touch one and it selects it, and I touch the last one I want. And this is a function you can't normally do for most things on a phone. So the last one on the 10th is that one there. And if I touch this particular icon up the top here, okay, that one, oh, I'm going ahead of it, touch that one, it selects them from one to the other. So it's a little bit like holding the shift and uh, clicking on a, on a uh, computer. So I want to copy all those. Aha, I'm going to do something else first though. Before I do that, I actually want to make a, and I, you can see I can add more folders or subtract a folder as a, a file as I'm going along. But I don't want to do that. So I'll sl uh, select them all, which that button does, and then, whoops, select them all and unselect them again. Okay, so what I want to do though is actually have a folder in the folder I'm copying it to of the name uh, uh, being the name of the folder being the date. I've already got that date there, so what I'm going to do is actually copy that date. Right, so I touch that, right, I say rename, right, it's already got part of the date there. I'll actually go into um, uh, the, the G, G board, which is the Google's facility to actually do mid plate on keyboards, go into text editing and go back and I only want that part of it. I want the, the date part only, not the, the the time, the hours and minutes. So I can now, now it's all selected, I can just simply say copy. So that's now in the copy buffer. Okay, I cancel that now. I now want to um, copy all those ones I said before for the 10th, uh, the 10th of the 5th, 2022. So I touch from there down to there, right? And do everything in between by touching that, right? I now go to the bottom here, and then you'll notice there's a thing called copy and move. I actually move them. So that's what I'm going to do. I do move. The screen changes. Now rather than, once again, it's on a, a subdirectory, a subdirectory, subdirectory on a completely different computer, I simply go back to my home screen, go to this one over here, bike videos, which I've already selected that, and it says bike videos, and boom, there I am. I'm on a, a actual fact, this one, is in on a hard drive that's connected to my router called bike videos right so i want to create a new folder so i touch those three buttons up here i say new all right say folder and rather than typing in a folder name i'd already copied the folder before and you'll notice it's down here so i just touch that there we are that's the folder name okay oh already exists oh that's right <laughs> i did I did this folder the other day because I did it with uh, uh, some video, some other videos. Anyway, so okay, so I'll cancel that. So that folder already exists. So if I go down to the bottom, I should already have a folder by that name. There it is, the fifth. Okay, there's 29 items in it. I'm going to paste those items to there. So I just simply touch paste, and there we go. It starts to, to paste it. That will take four minutes and 12 seconds. So I don't want to wait that long. So I'll just cancel and that'll be the end of this video. So that's how I copy files, in this particular case, from my phone to a hard drive that's connected to my router or within the one application. So start that way. Okay. So any questions, ask me.